there's all kinds of places we can start. I feel cleanliness is where it begins. Clean the outside, you clean the inside from the outside. Everyone deserves to put on new socks and socks. underwear and, yeah, yeah. and yeah. clothes and you know the folks that, that, that we service, they're grateful. 99% of them. Yeah. Um, to see a smile on someone's face that is sleeping in a gutter pretty much. You know, not everyone wants to be out there, you're absolutely right. And there are so many different reasons why people are out there. I didn't ask for any of this. I started passing out hot soup. Now I have a shower and I am going to put one in every major city in New England. That's in the works. It's going to happen. Um, I've got some huge, huge supporters. Of, um, and my money doesn't grow on trees. And I, and I, you know, I need funding. I need funding. I'm not mentally capable of going after grants and doing all this that I do. It's hard to find people to go after grants. You have to have that niche. Um, and any help that anybody can do, even with, we don't even need, you know, if you can't give us money, we need jackets, we need hoodies, <clears throat> excuse me, we need sweatshirts, out of your closets, out of your drawers. Yeah. Um, when, when you do it as a, as a team and you have people behind you, it's amazing what can be done, like Shields. I got an email today from Shields MRI, they did a collection for us, and Shields matched it, $7,000. Newman's own is cutting me another check. I got that in my email this morning. But that's, we put out $47,000 worth of survival backpacks in February last year. And I can show you, anybody can look at the books. It's just, it is what it is. We need help, we need help. Um, and I hate to keep pressing that all the time with people, but it is what it is. Right here. I can go take a shower. And it's a beautiful setup. I saw I saw it the other day. It's a it's a beautiful setup, and I uh, I'm truly honored. I'm truly honored that somebody uh, for whatever whatever reasons got you here, but the fact that you're here now with this kind of uh, uh, a project to uh, help the, those that need it most in our community. I'm truly honored to uh, to accept this on behalf of. The many individuals that call, uh, and I'm honored Rock to give them to you. I appreciate it. Uh, honest, this is something special. So, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Peter and the and the Soup Man organization that he has established uh, to help those less fortunate uh, individuals in our community, and uh, to have an individual an, an individual coming out and being willing to do what he can. Um, uh, who do what he can to provide for our community is just uh, unreal. Um, thank, thank God there are people like him uh, in our community and then we'll continue to do what we can to help him out make sure that he's successful. What you said earlier, you have been saying for a long time, you've known for a long time about where all the paychecks away from being homeless or We are, most of us, most of us are perhaps four paychecks away from being homeless ourselves. And I think that's the, that's how we have to, we need to put things in perspective, because we think it's just individuals that are choosing to be homeless, but times are tough, uh, rent are unreal in terms of the affordability of ho homes in our communities and our cities. Uh, so most of us are probably four paychecks away from being in some of the same situations that we find uh, our fellow citizens in. Thank you. www.supportthesoupman.org